Hello and welcome back to our home stadium. We are playing against Tundela for the very first time. Actually, yeah, this is for the very first time that we're actually playing against them. We are coming out of, the, of a string of defeats. So hopefully this time we can actually manage to get a win. I would love that to happen. But first, we actually do need to beat them. We have actually completed the signing of one of our players. We'll see where it'll go, but for now, I don't know where I want him to be. And Jomens, I know him, Murillo, or Murillo, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know many of the players that they have over there. But yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get on with the game. And let's actually get a win after so much time, so many, so much time, so much time. After all this time, let us actually get something that resembles a, a victory. Not a draw, not a loss. We want to win. Oh, yes, yes, we do. We want a victory. Okay. The ball has gone over, but it has been intercepted by Tandela. Ricardo Moura, the goalkeeper, sends it over to Joãozinho, who sends it over to Murillo. I'm going to say Murillo because I don't know if he, if he is Spanish or not. So I don't know if those two L's are supposed to be a L or if not. And that was a screamer of a shot, but he went over one of Tondela's, Tondela's players. That's a weird sentence to say. And it's a throw in. Peter sends it over to Temben. Tembeng. Tembeng? Who sends it over to York. York sends it over to Tomane. Back to York. What a defense by a goalkeeper. My Sonny Alo, you are quite incredible. I'm quite glad that I actually brought him because the goalkeeper we had, not so, not so good. Mm, that was not a good pass. Oh, but a good interception by Ivo Rodriguez. But fortunately, he was unable to proceed with his march. Peter now has the ball. Sends it over to João Mendes. Who sends it over to York. York to Tomane. Tembeng. Sends it over to João Mendes again. He tried to send a through ball, but Arcus now has the ball. He sends a through ball over to Stuart Stewart. He's not fast enough. I need to change his training regiment to make him faster because he's quite slow at doing just basically anything. Adilu sends it over to Tomane. Tomane sends it over to the goal, but it was it was an okay attempt, but didn't came to any fruition. But they are sending it over really, really quickly. And my Sunil is quite pissed. He doesn't want people to get neck, to get close to his... Uh, to be in between his sticks. Yeah, he doesn't want that. He suffered enough. It was basically a string of 1-0 defeats. For the entire month, basically. Serrano now has the ball. Oh, he, he tried to do... A low, low hanging cross, uh, to cross, but that didn't happen. York has the ball, sends it over to Murillo. Murillo loses the ball to Stewart. Stewart sends it over to Marcus Valente. Hatic now has the ball, sends it over to Redmond. Redmond moves over to Giorza, goes over to Hatic. Redmond still has the ball. I forgot to say, Castelladin is away because he's on an international game. That pass went to absolutely no one. He was supposed to be, go to Arcus, but didn't actually reach him. Which one of the Tundalis' players? Tembeng has the ball over to Pite, and it is halftime. Nil-nil. Oh my. Okay, so we're doing okay-ish. Actually, not doing okay-ish. We don't have that much possession but the they did three shots two of them on target we've yet to, to make a single shot to put us in the lead if this keeps going 
I might have to reduce the difficulty. Or maybe I just need to wait because the players right now are not that good. So if I just wait a little bit, I might get better results soonish, I believe. Okay, Hatic has the ball. Sends over back to Marcus Valent, over to Redmond. Gyorza picked up the through ball. He tried to get it to Ivo Rodrigues, but to no avail. João Mendes now has the ball, sends it to Adiliu. Over to Tenbeng, Tomane, over to Pite, over to Adiliu. Over to Pite again, Adiliu again, Pite, they're doing a 1-2. Tomane, over to João Mendes, over to York. Tomane again, will he try to... How is that a goal? Yeah, I might need to reduce the difficulty. Because on paper we are supposed to be better. But we are actually losing and drawing more than we're winning. And this team, their attackers are way worse than my defenders. So we should have... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to reduce the difficulty just one notch. I'm still going to do next season. I'm going to raise the difficulty up a bit. But right now it is a little bit too high for me to actually do anything with what I have. Or maybe I just really need to wait. I don't know. I mean, we suffered some defeats that we shouldn't have suffered. And we're not able to do a damn thing in regards to most of the things like for example this oh that was a nice shot but unfortunately went on to get one of their defenders Tomane now has the ball once again and I believe that might go for a corner or really yes it is a corner corner has been swung and it has gone into the firm hands of my Sonia. But it is back into Tondela. My Sonia clears it. Ball is now... And Stewart, he was unable to jump high enough to actually get it. Unfortunate, but that, that's how it is. Pite has gone out. Now George Fernando. Fernando? Fernandez? I don't know is in okay it is, we're now at the 74th minute we're losing 1-0 okay the ball has been removed but back into Tandela's possession and that's a through ball and the goalkeeper why haven't you moved I thought you would move just a little bit ahead Edmund now has the ball over to Rice what happened? Okay, it was a foul. My god, quite a nasty one as well. Okay, Marcus Valent will score it. Bay now has the ball. Send it over to Rice. And that was quite a dreadful pass. Goalkeeper sends it away. Ball is back into our possession. Marcus Valent sends it to to Bain, now to Giorza. Giorza sends it over to Hatic. Hatic over to Arcas. Arcas still has the ball, sends it through, and he missed the sitter. That should have been the equalizer. That really should have been the equalizer. I don't know. That should have been a goal. I don't know what you were doing. Who are you? I don't remember who you are. Are you Yves Rodrigues? Maybe you are. That is quite unfortunate. Oh! Ball has been recovered. Back to Arcus. And it is the equalizer! My god, at the end of the game, Steward! Stewart equalizes. Ooh. 
Now that was an amazing pace of play. My god, that was a very, very good goal. Even at the back, they're celebrating. Because that was a good goal. You failed before to score, but this time... You managed to do good by my box. Arcus, of course, was the one responsible for basically all of it. If it wasn't for him dodging and passing it through so perfectly, the goal wouldn't have materialized like it had. And that is the equalizer. We... yeah, I still might just decrease the difficulty a little bit. I'll raise it up in the next season. But honestly, I just want to win some games to get more money because if I don't win games and if I don't if I don't get stuff done then the board will not allocate more funds to me and if they don't allocate more funds to me I cannot buy better players so that is my mentality I will raise it on the next season don't you worry for this season I think I'll raise the difficulty to the one below professional Okay, and here are the scores. Balloonense is won against Santa Clara 3-0. Porto lost against Benfica. That is probably the biggest game of the year. And Benfica just won. 1-0. Normally that's the score that it ends in. Last time that Benfica and Porto actually met, and it was in Benfica Stadium, Porto actually won 2-0. So... Yeah, it was the opposite this time. Rehuav won against Boavista 3 0. Sporting won against Braga 3 1. We drew 1 1. Pretoria Sporting Club won against Arves 1 0. Ferenc won against Victoria Football Club 1 0. Maritime and Portimonense drew 0 0. And Nacional and Murirens, uh, and Nacional won against Murirens 1 0. That, that is probably the, the results that we're expecting. We still draw because. We won 3, we drew 3, and we lost 3. Sporting won 9. They have yet to lose a single game. They suffered 2 goals. That was it. They suffered 2 goals the entire season. And we are now win 9 games. Oh my. Okay, we are ready. To play against Riwav, of course, we're going to sim it because we already played the game this month, just so we can speed things along. And I realized one thing, I was apparently playing this whole time on Superstar difficulty. Now it is on Professional, but it was on Superstar. So, we, we are supposed to play on su Professional this season, and then we should raise it up. In terms of negotiations, we have some clubs. I absolutely want to buy these two. We already accepted terms for both of these men. But I absolutely want to buy both of these free agents that my my scouts actually picked up. This one, I think... Uh, yeah, we're going to end it. Yeah, we're going to end because I don't want anything from him. Those two are already attacking midfielders, so those will be way better for me than, than that. Hopefully now we have a better result. Yes, we won 1-0 against Riwav. Sporting drew 0-0 against Avj. First time they actually got something other than a victory. Ferenc won against Tondela 1-0. Vittoria Sporting Club drew against Maritimo. Portimonense won 3-0 against Victoria Football Club, Bolognese won against Murirens 4-0, Benfica won against Nacional 1-0, Boavista won against Clinta Clara 2-0, and Porto won against Braga 1-0. What about... We are back, we are back in the 7th position. Oh, finally. And we have a better goal differential. We only scored five goals and we suffered four how are we in seventh position with four victories and we scored only five goals keep in mind that oh my a lot like two or th yeah it has to be oh my at least one of those games we drew 1-1 one, one, uh, as a draw the, the rest it was all one nil victories all of them. My god. Other than that, other than us, 
Bluenense is, uh, is the club that scored the most. After them is Sporting with 19 anything. Uh, and after that is Porto, then Benfica. Oh my. <laughs> that is interesting. We only scored five goals and we suffered four. Oh, that's dreadful. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that's really dreadful. I, I was looking at minus three goal difference, but that is Feyrens. Okay, we are ready to play against uh, Santa Clara, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Not much is happening. Um, yeah, we sold one of our players to Canning, wherever it is, and I just realized Bas Dost has 12 goals scored in the Portuguese league. My god, where are we? We won 3-1 against Santa Clara. Braga won 3-0 against Nacional. Moreirense won 3-0 against Boa Vista. Benfica won 1-0 against Bolognese. Vitoria drew with Portimonense, 0-0. Porto won against Aves, 2-0. Rio Ave won against Ferenc, 1-0. Sporting... Basically, Rio Ave, Sporting and Tondela, both, all of them won 1-0. And we are now in sixth position. We are we have never been as high as this. I don't think how many games have been played? Uh, 14 games. Wait, 14? 9 uh, 11 games. Where did I where did I get the 14? 11 games played. There are 18 teams correct. So 34 games that that there are. Yeah, we can still catch. We can still catch the leaders. We're not actually playing on the proper difficulty that. And my Sonial is increasing quite drastically at the moment. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah, already he's already increased. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's already increased to. Um, to 72 and I completely forgot that I want to do okay I'll do that in a second I also want to do other things you know not this I want to go to training because who was it I think it was Stuart that he wasn't the fastest stamina is okay speed 78 Actually, Gold Poacher, as he was, is already quite okay. Okay, never mind that then. So, just so you guys know what I've been doing on the background. So, Ritzmeier. Well, that's quite a good... A good sum. But I would like to have Daniel first. He's younger. He's younger as well, and he's worth way more, so... Give me a second, can we just adjust 83%? I don't think I want to. I'll accept these terms. I only have 230, he wants how much? 392, 300. That's quite a lot. I'll have to wait until I can actually buy him. I'll get him on the next transfer window. And Martinez, I think I know what that Martinez is. No, he's a free agent. And what would he... I mean, yeah, okay. The rest don't... Yeah, I don't really want any... Yeah, none of these are exactly what I want. Neither are these. Okay, so that is all that I want to do. We will skip this match because if, if you can see on the bottom right corner of the screen, we're playing on the 5th of December against Benfica. And that, that should be quite a great game. We drew 1-1, Benfica won against Bovista 2-0, Braga won 3-0, Nacional won 3-0, Ferenc won 1-0, 
Porto won 4 1, Portimonense won 3 0, Sporting won 3 0, and Rihuav won 1 0. What about the standings? We dropped to 7th once again. Okay, let's get ready to face Benfica, shall we?